Hello, my name is Monica and this is a no. Here are today's top stories. Victims of a fatal crash in Armagh have been named. The government has linked cyber attacks on voter data to China and four men have been charged following an attack on Moscow on Friday. Keep watching to find out more. The names of the four young victims involved in the armour crash over the weekend have been revealed. Marina Criley, Emma Mallon, Phil Mitchell and Keith Morrison had been travelling on Ballinahorn Moor Road in Armagh, Northern Ireland, when they crashed at 2.10am on Sunday. Speaking on the fatal crash, District Commander Superintendent Paul McGrattan said, This is an unspeakable tragedy for families involved and for the wider community, who will understandably struggle to comprehend such loss of life. A thorough and sensitive investigation is now underway, and anyone with information that could assist us is asked to get in touch with the Collision Investigation Unit. DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson also paid tribute to the late victim, saying, Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the four deceased in this devastating incident. Police remained at the scene on Monday morning and will continue to investigate the collision. Addressing Parliament on Monday, Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden confirmed the government has linked China to cyber attacks that took place in August 2021. Speaking to the press, Rishi Sunak said, it's right that we take measures to protect ourselves. Uh, well, uh, we've been very clear that the situation now is that China is behaving in an increasingly uh, assertive way abroad, authoritarian at home, and it represents an epoch-defining challenge uh, and also the greatest state-based threat to our economic security. So it's right that we take measures to protect ourselves, which is what we are doing. To give some specific examples, we've used our new national security investment powers to block investment from China into sensitive technology sectors like semiconductors, our national security. Act and others means that we can take any other steps that we need to. We've removed Huawei, for example, um, from our telecoms network, and we will always do what is required to keep our country safe. Despite the cyber attacks taking place in 2021, they were only identified in October 2022. Acknowledging the attacks, the Electoral Commission revealed a complex cyber attack had been carried out and unspecified hostile actors had gained access to copies of the electoral registers. Adding the cyber attacks did not have any impact on election results or registration statuses. Among those targeted are three MPs who had previously been critical of China, including Sir Ian Duncan Smith, Tim Loughton and Stuart MacDonald. Speaking on the news, Loughton blamed the government for not taking the strategic threat from China seriously. Foreign Secretary David Cameron, who was Prime Minister at the time of the attacks, is also expected to give an address at the 1922 committee. On Friday, an attack was carried out at Kroker City Hall in Moscow, Russia, killing at least 137 people and injuring 182. Shortly after the attack, the Islamic State group posted evidence claiming responsibility. However, Russian officials have blamed Ukrainian involvement, a claim that President Zelensky has rejected. Four men have since been charged with committing a group terrorist attack, resulting in the death of others. The four suspects appeared in Basmani District Court, all with heavy bruising and swollen faces as a result of brutal interrogation carried out by security services. One man was suspected to have lost consciousness after appearing in court in a wheelchair with his eyes closed during proceedings. Calling the attacks barbaric, Russian President Vladimir Putin promised to punish those behind the horrific event, revealing seven others had also been taken into custody. Thanks for watching The Know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to The Mirror for more daily news updates.